We finished the entity refactor. J just about. Look at that pristine. It's glorious. The player is a physical character in the world now. And watch this. I built some blocks on the ship. I break it apart. They become separate ships. It's almost like the quote I write works. Boom. This was no easy feat. I had to rewrite all of the code. This diff is so big. This is going to be the diff to end all diffs. I went through debugging hell with this. So I have this this array of entities, right? You know, zero through four. Let's say this one is a grid. This is a player. These are some boxes attached to the grid. This one's deleted, right? This grid is pointing to these boxes, right? Hold on, Forget everything I just told you because this example doesn't illustrate my point. All right, it's like this. There's a grid here and these are its boxes. It's like, all right, I'll find it dandy. This data's on the server. Let's ship it up to the client. Yeah, we've got our client here. What does the client see? A stream of data one by one. This is important. The client literally receives like a ticker tape feed sequentially. This this whole like data, just like left to right, like bam, 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 bam. So it sees the box first and then the player and then the grid and then the box and the deleted, right? So this is what my code was doing. It's like, read, the, read this box's data. It's like, all right, what's in a box? It's like, well, let's look at the screenshot of the game. That's a box right there. It's got its position in the grid, how big it is, and which grid is in. This is important. This is where it gets fucked up. So it reads this box, and it's like, oh, this box is in a grid A, and its position is zero, zero. So it goes and accesses grid A to construct the, the, the like, physical shape. But grid A isn't loaded yet. We have a ticker tape here, right? We're loading the box first. The box wants to put itself in this grid, but the grid isn't even instantiated yet. It's a random data. Zero data. This is where the wheels fall off, because normally an issue like that would be pretty simple. You just load it into the debugger, and you see, oh, the, the values are zero. VS Code was just shitting the bed. Conditional breakpoints weren't working, and like the, there was there's an off by one error. So like if I break on a line, if I pause on a line of code, it like shows me the line above it. It's just really really janky. And so I, I was just dealing this for like two hours. I was like zero progress. Everything is broken. Am I going to make it in time for today to finish the energy refactor? Is it going to be four days? I don't know. But anyways, we're finished. We've got to do the cockpit now. This is tomorrow. The cockpit block. Because the player is no longer like some omnipresent awareness. Well, they are. I'll, I'll, I'll add that later in the game. But right now, it's like they're a, they're a, they're a meat bag. Bite my shiny metal ass. It doesn't look so shiny to me. Shinier than yours, meat bag. It's fair use. It's fair use. I'm critiquing it. That scene, it was bad. It was horrible. Anyways, this is what we're doing. Right now, the code that I had to do this shit was, was commented out. Tomorrow, we remove the comments and refactor the code. It'll take like an hour, so I'll be able to do other stuff. What are the blockers? What are the blockers? This is a scrum meeting. This is what we need for an alpha. Which you guys are all going to be invited to. And it's going to be free to start. You don't know, it's going to be money. Getting you a little, little cash. This is the, the bar for the private alpha. But what's next, right? You got to think ahead. That's how you win the game. Another thing is I'm going to want to make a trailer for this. You know, I project this stuff could be done in about a week. This is done. You know, this is a day with the artist work pending. This is also a day, maybe even less. This is pixel blocks of stuff. I don't even, I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. I stopped putting that down for three days. What the total? One plus one plus only six days until the alpha. Oh my gosh. With everything programming though, something always goes wrong. You know, this is a neat trick that the advanced programmers learn. After years of failure and mistakes, you always multiply the projected time by three. So 18 days is the safe number. Like 18 days is like definitely done. But six days is like if everything goes right to plan. If none of these deadlines run over. If there's no more bugs like this. Dude, I'm switching to Visual Studio. I can't take this VS Code debugger anymore, man. It's so bad. It had me questioning about life. I'm also going to be editing a trailer with CC0 music. I want to make it so I'm like editing a trailer a month, right? With all the major features so we can get more people. Once I got enough audience, it's going to be $5 a month or something like that for daily uploads, daily builds of the game. And then you get a free one every month, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe we put in some troll DRM. You pirate it. It'll delete System32 and like crash your computer. I don't know. That's a ways off. Is that really six days? Six days? You know, this commenter on the last video, he's kind of right. I do need help. I, I'm dealing with bugs in this shit, like on every level of the program. On the, on the serialization, on the physics side, it'll just collapses from under me. I feel like I'm going crazy. Here's something I learned, or something I realized. Your sense of good, bad code is probably wrong. What I mean by this, like... You guys didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Like, when you look at code like this, like, you have some opinions about it, right? Like, oh, this feels a little icky, maybe we shouldn't be doing it like this. Where, where does this sense of what code is good or bad, what code needs to be fixed and not fixed, come from? I don't think it comes from, like, an evidence-based correct place of, like, this code actually causes a lot of problems, you know what I mean? That's why I think, like, that, that sense of what's good and bad code needs to be constantly evaluated. Like, this is bad code. I learned this now just because of how much time I spent on it. 
But all the other stuff that I thought was janky was actually fine. Like, roller coasters look and, like, kind of feel scary, but they're actually completely safe, right? Your sense of what's bad and good, like, what, what's scary and what's not scary with code is just like, like, when you look at a roller coaster and you feel scared, it's, like, made up. You need to confront your fears about what's good and bad code to see what's actually good engineering or not. At least I think that's what it is. Face your fears. Program with plunder or arithmetic. Based. Let me show you what I want the game to be like. Be useful. Yeah, but I'm not done yet, though. Wait, you're not done building it? Yeah, but I'm not done yet, though. Wait, you're not done building it? Ah! <laughs> you're, you're gonna be, like, like building a ship or something, and your friend's, like, been building it, and he's, like, riding along. I don't know. Stuff like that is, like, what makes Minecraft good. Those, like, slapstick physical moments. This game is gonna have, like, way more of that shit, because everything is a rigid body. That's the plan with the design, at least. I'm very excited for this alpha. I'm hoping we can get some magical players. In all likelihood, nobody's gonna play it, and that's gonna be very sad. But at least I made the game. This game is cool. I'm glad to have made it anyways. You know what? I don't need help. Help is for people who are lost. I found my path. I'm very happy that this refactor is done yet. The game's building and working now. That's all I got for you guys today. Like and subscribe.